Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I thought today that I would do my first ever tag video, but please excuse me because I've got a bit of a cold, so if I start hacking, coughing in front of the camera, I do apologize. I know that's kind of gross, but um, today's been quite a busy week for me. I've been uh, at an event called the Super Relaxed Fantasy Club, which this month was held in uh, the Grange Hotel in Holborn at the top of the hotel in a beautiful bar called the Sky Bar. Thanks, Taryn. Um, you can follow Taryn below. I've put a link to his channel. Uh, he's an author of a brilliant book called The Summoner. And Super Relax Fantasy Club is exactly what it sounds. It's a place where fans of fantasy, YA, horror, sci-fi can come in a super relaxed environment, hang out, meet other uh, writers, readers, editors, agents, and also listen to a couple of speakers, do some readings, and just generally hang out, have a drink, have some fun. It was a really good event, highly recommend it. Um, I will also put a link to Super Relax Fantasy Club down below if you want to check it out and you're in London. But now onto the tag. I thought I would do the uh, booktuber newbie tag, which I've been basically trawling through YouTube videos, booktube videos, trying to find new booktubers to subscribe to, and I saw a lot of people doing this tag and I thought it sounded like a lot of fun. So nobody's actually tagged me in the video because I don't think that I'm known enough to have anyone kind of tag me and things yet, but feel free also to do this video if you're new to booktube, and if you want to be tagged officially then drop me a message and I will make sure to tag you. So I've got the questions on my phone, so I will uh, just try and answer these for you. Okay, so why did you start this channel? I think I kind of answered this in the first video, but I started this channel because I'd heard so much about BookTube and about how it was such a fun and vibrant community, and basically I just really wanted to get involved. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? Well, I think I like to consider myself a girl of many publishing hats. So I kind of cover the spectrum of book things. I read so much, I read a lot, I write books, obviously, I edit books. Basically, I, I'm involved up to my eyeballs with all things books, so hopefully I will be able to bring some fun stuff, uh, talk about maybe some different things, answer any questions you might have, and uh, give you an insight into the book world from my point of view. What are you most excited for about this new channel? I think I'm most excited to meet other booktubers, to kind of start building an audience and seeing if anyone likes it, and just generally trying out a new form of social media. I'm one of those social media addicts. Every time a new social media pops up, I try and get an invite or try and see what's happening. So um, I know that booktube has been around for ages. In fact, I've been following a couple of authors and people for a lot longer than I even remember. Obviously, John Green, but Robin Schneider and Jack Jackson Pierce, people that I've been following for a long time, but I've just never really thought about getting in into it myself. I did post a couple of videos for the launch of the Oathbreaker Shadow, but uh, never really kind of took it seriously is something that I wanted to build. Why do I love reading? That is a good question. Um, it took me a long time to kind of admit that I love reading. I wasn't one of those kids that had kind of been reading from an early age. In fact, when I did start to become a reader, I didn't really want to go into it at university or for a job. Ha, <laughs> see how that turned out. Um, because I didn't want to kind of ruin that love of reading. When I was in university, I actually started studying international relations, um, and I took a couple of English courses because I thought basically it might be kind of an easy grade to get, and in fact found that I really loved being able to just spend all my time reading. And then when it came to getting a kind of serious career, I thought uh, there could be nothing better for me than publishing because I just wanted to sit around and read all day. Reading is my escape, reading is... I'm one of those totally immersive readers, so if you catch me when I'm in the middle of a book and you try and talk to me, it's not gonna happen. I am known to just avoid people. My husband has now learned not to contact me, not to try and talk to me when I'm in the middle of the book, um, because I'm just not reachable. I'm in, I'm in another world, and if a book successfully takes me into that place and I get that full immersive experience, then I love that book for life. And I think that's why I love reading. Uh, it's just like, I think it's the, there's a George R. R. Martin quote on my website that uh, comes from Tyrion, which is something like, a, a reader lives a thousand lives, and that is what I enjoy about it. I know I'm not going to be able to live all the lives that I want to lead, I'm so curious about the world and about how other people live, and books gives me a way to experience that. What book or book series got me into reading? That's actually an easy one for me. The book series that got me into the reading was the Nancy Drew series of books, because they all the chapters end on a cliffhanger. So I was a very reluctant reader, as I said, and my parents actually read to me Nancy Drew before bed every night, without fail. 
and eventually it got to the point where they would end on some dastardly cliffhanger, like, and then Nancy went to the top of the stairs and saw, ah! And I would be like, but what is the ah? And my parents would be like, nope, not till tomorrow. And then eventually I sort of was like, well, that's not good enough. Took the book down off the shelf and just finished it in, a, in that same night. Um, and then after that I just had to read more and more and more and then my parents sort of slowly drip fed me more and more books until eventually I kind of used up the home library, then I had my own library card and I was literally like Matilda, like carding books home. Still mysteries actually, Agatha Christie I moved on swiftly to after Nancy Drew, there was just something about the mystery format that I still love and that I really loved when I was a kid. Eventually moving on to fantasy, um, although it took me a little while to read The Lord of the Rings, my parents tried to get me to read that, or my dad tried to get me to read that at 13, but I just wasn't quite ready for it. I came to it on my own when I was about 15 and really loved it and uh, became one of those people, which has kind of defined my uh, career since then, so that was definitely an important turning point in my life. What questions would you ask your favourite booktuber? Hmm. I guess I would ask, how do you keep your channel fun and fresh? How do you keep thinking up new ideas? And also I would ask them what their best, what the best thing about booktubing is because I really want to know what people find they get out of this community. And last question is, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel would be the hardest to overcome? Definitely the time and commitment it takes to make a video. Even in my first two videos I found it quite difficult to kind of get it right first time, um, or even third times, or even five times, and then doing the editing and cutting it all together and trying to make it sound good, I think that's been the hardest part. It's quite time consuming, especially when I'm under deadline. However, I think it's going to be worth it in the end, and so I'm really excited to keep on tubing, and hopefully this channel will be around for quite a long time. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave me some comments, and I will talk to you next week. Bye!